How close is an end to Alzheimer's? It's hard to say, though it seems like each week brings a new promising headline. Yeah, we're learning more about the disease this morning, along with the Alzheimer's Association's most prominent event of the year, which raises money and awareness. Yeah, welcome in Dr. Dwayne Gross and Stephen Zubra. Thanks for coming in. Nice to see you both again. Good to see both Thanks, of you. Mike. I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, we, we feel like we know what Alzheimer's is, uh, but kind of break it down for us a little bit. Alzheimer's, Mike, is a form of dementia. Um, it's fatal, it's progressive, and there's no cure. And um, you know, in your in your comment, we we think we're getting close, mm -hmm. and there's lots of research there, but we're making progress. In the new strategic plan, we're hoping to have a cure um, by 2025. I know that sounds like a long time away, but progress is being made. That's nice. How common is it right now? And in terms of Nebraska and Iowa, are our numbers similar to that in other parts of the country? Our numbers are even a little higher because of the aging population in Iowa and Nebraska. There are 106,000 people diagnosed with the disease at this point, and we think that that's underreported by about 50 percent. Um, the folks in Nebraska with their caregivers, I like to give the visual, um, 40,000 people with Alzheimer's disease in Nebraska, they with a caregiver would fill up Memorial Stadium on game day. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, Stephen, you have a story uh, relating yeah. to Alzheimer's. Would you share, share that yeah, with us? Yeah, our, our, everybody on our board has a personal connection. I've, I've shared with you before, Mary, that uh, my mother died from Alzheimer's. We also had a board member this year who her husband died from Alzheimer's the uh, early onset, and he was in his 50s. And when Dwayne talks about the demographics, it's scary. Uh, you know, every day in this country, 10,000 uh, baby boomers turn 65. And by the time you hit 85, one in two Americans will get Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So there's 20 years, and, and we got we to gotta get this done. So, you know, we, we changed the name of our walk to the Walk to End Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. and the reason is the sense of urgency here is palpable. We really have to find a cure, and we have to find it soon. As you talk about it as being diagnosed in the 50s, when, when people are diagnosed at a younger age like that, is it more progressive? You know, that's the feeling, Mike, that early or younger onset is, is a, a faster moving form of the disease. I, I've seen both. I don't know if there's any statistics mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. prove that, but it is heartbreaking to see folks in their 40s and 50s with this disease, and it's, uh, it's shocking. Um, for me, my perception of folks with Alzheimer's disease has changed. Uh, it's, not the, it's not the very elderly person uh, in a hospital bed or a rest home. It's that young, vibrant person wow. in their 40s and 50s with kids in junior high. Yeah. Um, that's the new face of Alzheimer's disease, wow. and we're fighting to put an end to it. Well, you said 2025. Um, is kind of that uh, it's the target golden day, year, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> right. um, yeah. So when you when you have an event like this and you're raising money, I know you want to get the word out too, right. uh, but those funds, where do those go? The Walk to End Alzheimer's is, um, is an event that's going on in every chapter across the United mm -hmm. States in the fall, September. Some of the southern states do theirs in October. But the, the, um, it's, a, it's a general ask. The, the money's raised in this walk support our mission, which is research to end Alzheimer's disease, care and support for the people with mm -hmm. the disease, and to lower the risk of us that do not have well, the disease. Three important elements there, and there are two walks here. Um, and first, we'll, we'll show you the information for the Council Bluffs walk, um, and then the Omaha. So how many people between the two do you expect to see? Well, we, we always anticipate thousands and thousands. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, the, the walk in Council Bluffs is coming up this Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's at the Charles Lakin campus, the new uh, health services campus in um, uh, Council Bluffs on about 7th. Uh, Street and 16th Avenue. It is a great place for the walk uh, just north on 16th from Broadway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on and September 30th is right. Omaha, yeah. Chalco Hills. And uh, that's why we're here today. So, you know, come join us. Uh, you know, it's, it's rare anymore to meet people that haven't been affected by this disease, a family member or a friend, and come out and support them. You know, do the walk in their name. Uh, you see that all the time, teams of families around a family member who has mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. And uh, we're really, it's a call to action, a sense of urgency about finding a cure. Help us walk to end Alzheimer's. Yeah, and it's not just for families that have been impacted in some way. It's yeah. for everyone out there because you never know when it could uh, impact your family. How, do, how should people get involved? I know the website's right there Register at the bottom online. of the screen. Best Register place, online. yeah, 
Stephen, you're right. The best place is to register online. The website is on alz.org forward slash Midlands, mm -hmm. um, or you can call the office 402-502-4301. Um, well done, Dr. <laughs> Gross. And, and if you are um, in need of Alzheimer Association of the Midlands resources, I would encourage you to also visit the website. There's plenty of that information there. Um, if somebody in your family or your circle recently mm -hmm. diagnosed, um, I know for, for your family it was probably a, a good help, as for thousands of others. Yeah. Um, thank you for coming back, Stephen. It's, it's great to see you. Thanks for having us. Come join us. Yeah, yes, you're doing thank good work. You. Thanks for coming on. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, right after the break, a special scholar.